Okay. Hi guys. As you can see, I'm updating my navigation software on the RT6 radio. That doesn't mean I got rid of a Peugeot logo problem that's still on the radio. I tried upgrading with two different versions of source files for the main software or firmware of a radio. Still didn't work. I suspect you need to set everything via mirror script. I tried looking for the configuration files on that uh, pen drive. And there were logos of both Citroën and Peugeot. So I suspect the software is universal. It's just a question of then adjusting all the settings. And the problem wouldn't be just the logo, but all these buttons here on the radio, on the uh, steering wheel, they got mapped differently. Because you know how those buttons work nowadays. It's not that they're hardwired to the radio. There's like a processor built into the buttons and there's the CAN network. There are like three wires running around the car. And there are actually several CAN networks in the car. But let's just assume there's this network cable. And then when you press a button like this, it just sends a signal over the network saying, this is button A, B, C, D, something, something, something. And it just sends it out into the space. And an appropriate receiver monitors that CAN network. And what discovers that signal says, oh, button A, B, C, D, something, something, something has been pressed. I need to do this and this. So with a Citroen, these are mapped differently. So I'll need to adjust that. Let's just take a look here. And I believe it'll be the same as in the morning. I tried loading this on the way to work and this bar got to the end. And then something like 15, 20 minutes later, it was still stuck at the end. Nothing was happening. So I believe the Polish map should be here because I also loaded, well, I'll show you. Maybe we'll try to do like this. Uh, map management. I loaded earlier Middle Europe, which seems should be logical for Poland, but it wasn't here. I loaded Southern Eastern Europe. So Poland wasn't also here. There was like Croatia and countries like that. And I have Scandinavia. Well, Scandinavia is obviously not Poland, but I thought that I'll try to see if that upgrade is corrupted and that's why I didn't want to load. Or is there something wrong with our radio? I'll just go back to the upgrading. Uh, map update. Okay, so this is continuing. So once this was stuck, I thought I'll try something else. I thought Scandinavia, it's only woodlands. There's almost no roads. It'll be quick. It wasn't quick, 25, maybe 30 minutes. But at the end, it went through and it looked like this. So as you see, after completion, it displays an appropriate message was here. It'll probably be like an hour more. I believe this bar, status bar, just moves quicker than the actual file uploading. And I don't know, since this is a much larger area with much many more roads, it'll probably take a significant number of maybe even hours. It's unimaginable to me how they do it in the car salon, because I don't know if you hear that, my engine's running. I need to keep the engine running because I don't know if you ever tried sitting in the car listening to the radio. If you sit for some like five, 10 minutes, look, you see here, economy mode and the car shuts down everything. It seems not necessary, including the radio. And if it shuts it down, obviously it will not complete the upgrade. So with something like, a, I don't know, it's 10 maps that need to be loaded, assuming even half an hour per map, it's quite a significant time. So I have to have some type of workaround in the car salon to get them all loaded. Nevertheless, engine running or not, still a tremendous amount of time for something which should take maybe, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes to load those five gigabytes of data. I know it's so slow, probably the USB interface is very old, maybe 1.1 
and that's why the data transfer is so long. Well, nevertheless, I'll wait, see if this completes. In the meantime, I'll include some description underneath, which you can read how you can download the maps and then how you can overcome the DRM protection. Well, it's somewhat illegal to load the maps and only need to pay for them. But I assume that if your SD card failed and you're loading the same map version, which you had before, you should be totally entitled to do it. Obviously, it's not your fault that the SD card failed because of a poor radio design. So, so that's it for today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.